Hey guys, how y'all doing today? Tao here, and welcome back to Bloom's TD Battles. Today we have a pretty special episode for you because today we're gonna do something awesome, I guess. What we're doing today is uh, myself and I suck at battles here. We are going for yet another record. You've probably seen a decent amount of high round videos on this channel, and here we're gonna try for another one. So currently we are playing on the map Snowy Castle, and on the... Uh, Computer version of Balloon Seed Battles, the highest one that anybody has gotten on this map has been round 46. And when I say the highest anyone's gotten, I mean the highest recorded uh, round of this. I'd be willing to say that nobody else has gotten higher because they probably would have recorded it. But yeah, nobody else has gotten higher than round 46. Two people played it and then they died on that round. So that's what we're going to try to beat. Me and I suck at battles here. So we got our nice little fun loadout. We both have the same thing. Uh, and we're both going to try to do very similar strategies to win. And we're going to let each other get to higher rounds. We're not going to try to kill each other or anything. It's just we're going to go for that record because why the heck not? Love the title, you know? It, it's like going for a record in a video game because that's literally what we're doing. But yeah, our loadouts, the ninja, the bomb, the mortar, uh, the boat, and the super monkey. Yeah, you're going to see a few disconnects here and there. My internet is really, 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 really horrible. Uh, there's nothing I can do about that, but we are going to play all the way through. Although there were a couple instances before that ended up kind of fun. If there was a high chance, well, okay, if you guys are watching this video right when it comes out, the bloopers video won't be out, but if you're watching this later, there's a bloopers video that you should check out of all the fails before this that we had, because there were a ridiculous amount of attempts that we had before this. It took us like a bunch of tries. I'm not going to spoil the amounts because that might be crucial, I guess. But yeah, there were a ton of tries that we uh, had, basically, to uh, <laughs> take this. And in all, it took us maybe three hours to do, although the actual game itself was way under an hour. It was it was just crazy because we had to try so many times. But yeah, we were around 16, 17, got spammed the boats and bombs and stuff, have a ninja up in front. Can't really say much about strategy at the moment, but what makes this map so hard is obviously just the really short path and the very low space to put towers. Luckily, there is a lot of spot for boats, so we're going to go for that. It's going to be kind of similar to Hydro Dam, so we're going to have some uh, fun with that. Placing a lot of boats all over because those are good for mobs and such, although we're going to have mob uh, takedown eventually for the first mob. And now we got 2-3 Mortar, 2 d camos on 21 balloons because we've had problems with that in the past. And of course, a uh, fourth tier bomb shooter. <laughs> bomb shooter, I can't believe I'm actually calling it that. But yeah, fourth tier bomb tower that will clear up most of the balloons and then just boats for general popping power. That's, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's it's pretty fun, to say the least. So yeah, here we are, round 24. Going to try to keep going this, through this. And eventually we're going to have a pretty sweet setup that you all see, I guess. Yeah, because why not? Oh, also, starting to lose some lives here. Yeah, I'm, I'm screwed up, but hey, I ain't dead. I had to get a second 4-2 can just to make sure I wouldn't screw up. One of the hardest things about playing this map is trying to fit as many boats as possible. You have to be kind of precise, but at the same time, it's focusing, which is difficult. Now what we're doing, or at least what I'm doing, I'm not exactly sure what I suck as battles is doing. I haven't been paying t too much attention to his side. But what I've been doing is getting a bunch of 4th tier ninja abilities just to slow down every single moab group that comes because I don't think I'd be able to defeat all these mobs otherwise. And this will just give me so much more of a chance to defeat these mobs. For the BFB in round 30, uh, a fourth tier uh, boats will just do the trick. No need to do anything like that. And now we're going insane with the economy. We're over 6,000 right now. Got to keep building it up because there's going to be a certain point in time where we're, we're just going to stop with the economy. We realize eventually it'll just be better to start massing towers because we're going to need those for the later rounds. Yeah, we have super monkeys. Yeah, we might want to do temples, but we tried that in the past and we realized that temples just were not going to work out. We decided it was much better to go with massive ability spam, like, you know, boats and bombs and stuff. I even got a third tier super monkey. It's very rare that you see a robo monkey in battles and that's what we got right now. So as you can see, my side is basically filled with just basic tier boats. Uh, I second battles has some of those too. We each have a 4th tier mortar. The big difference is that he has uh, Moab Maulers on the inside there. I don't. I'm not wasting my time with those. 
I'm going to put all my mod mods on the outside because uh, why not, yeah? And we're trying our best to make the rounds stall as long as possible, but really that doesn't matter too much at all. The rounds are going to be short regardless. So yeah, round 35, got to keep this going. I got a Techno Terror because, you know, that thing's a great backup. Uh, just getting a bunch of abilities and stuff inside the castle too. I uh, just got to be safe. He's doing some mortar stalling. Got to be careful there. I guess he was close to losing. Round 35 is also pretty difficult if you're never not prepared. Obviously, a fourth tier mortar worked well for both of us. So we just stuck with that. And now it's round 37. Got to keep this going. Starting on round 40, things get very difficult because a ton of high strength mobs and BFBs come in. After round 30, all the mobs and BFBs get really, 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 really strong in the game. It's actually pretty ridiculous. You have to use abilities to take those down because raw tower popping power won't cut it. They also need to be, or they, they'll also be really, really fast. Another th big thing I'm getting is just a bunch of fourth tier ninjas because those hardly take up any space. And you can fit a bunch of those. And they're okay at popping power for MOABs and BFBs and ZOMGs. So I'm just going to leave them there. They'll definitely be helpful for ZOMGs. And it looks like I stopped with my income at, a, a, yeah, 10,000. Yeah, 10,000. It's about good. And now it's about time to start spamming those bombs around the edges. We are literally going to fill up the map with towers. Because these are just going to be some uh, kind of low... Well, not low tier towers, but not super, super late game towers. But what we're hoping is that it's enough to beat the record. All we have to do is beat round 46 and survive to round 47. And we become the champions of the game. So, uh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Round 39. This is one of the last easy rounds. Now things start getting fun. Round 40. Look at these mobs. These are all slowed down. And they're getting really, really far. It's scary because of how strong they are. We have to mortar stall them just to keep them in place and so they don't run through. Having to do a lot of selling and rebuying of the mortar, this is why a high economy is important. Just so you can afford to keep doing that. And with our money, I still have not upgraded all my towers here. I still have a bunch of unupgraded boats. I also want to get way more bomb towers around the edges too. And with all the BFBs, I'm just going to sink those down and keep getting more and more boats. I know there's a lot more BFBs next round too. We each have to take care of. So yeah, this is where things start getting fun. Hopefully we should be able to afford everything. Uh, I know I suck at Alice's way more income than me because he's uh, way greedy. But uh, yeah, also I hope you guys, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we actually said too much in interesting, uh, uh, interesting in chat this game. Also, look at those mods. Insanely fast. It's crazy. Yeah, okay, the game sped up a bit, like three times. But even still, they were fast to us then. Because we never seen mobs go that lightning speed, and it scared us quite a bit. Uh, also, I guess uh, there was a bit of lag too, so that helped us uh, be able to sell and rebuy quicker and such. Although, it didn't make it harder for me to micro because the computer was busy processing, and it didn't want to process, okay, sell the mortar, now rebuy it. And that could possibly screw us over in the end. And now, round 43. The first ZOMG. This is where it gets fun, and this is why we have so many bomb towers. Look, I suck if Al's managed to clear his off the map because all those abilities. Now I'm going ham on them. I'm just going to keep uh, assassinating that. However, mine still isn't dead. Okay, there was, there it goes. There we go. I had to activate a Techno Terror ability too, and I'm doing a bunch of Mortar Stone right now. Oh boy. This is insane-tastic. And that's what I love about it. It's just insane. For all the mobs, you have to mortar stall them, otherwise you're probably screwed. For all the BFBs, you have to sink down with boats, otherwise you're probably screwed. For all the ZOMGs, you have to use the mob assassins, otherwise you're probably screwed. Do you see a pattern here? Well, I, I hope you do at least. I, I, I Yeah. Anyways, though, I think now would be a fantastic time to say uh, uh, I Suck at Battles also wants subscribers because he's lonely. His channel is very, very lonely. And when I say very, very, I mean averagely. I don't know. He's a fun guy. We just chat a lot and stuff. So, I mean, we're decently good friends and such. So, I mean, subscribe to his channel. And anyways, just did a little bit of a switch here. Uh, yeah, his channel will be in the description along with a lot of other things. So, read the description for a bunch of things. And anyways, I did something a little bit of fun here. With late game, we always get some sort of issue with the game where uh, the screen will show something or the other player 
I don't know. It's just kind of a glitch where the screen shows different things. <coughs> so, I did a little bit of video editing right here. On the right, you see I suck at Battle Side, and that's scrapped from his recording. Also, I did a clutch Techno Terror there. That killed a ton of mobs and stuff. That was awesome. And on the left, you see my side. You will see two mice, or that yeah, that's the plural of mouse, uh, two mice on the screen operating things, going crazy. And yeah, that also, the delay kind of show up at a different time because this is a split scene. You are literally seeing us play at the same time. I did a little editing. You can see how in the middle it's a bit off. That's just me trying my best to compensate it. It's difficult. But what I don't get here is, yeah, we're on round 46. Uh, this is a round to beat. We have to do this and we're good. But what I don't get is that we're get getting different bloom sends. I thought Ninja Huey fixed the game so we got the same bloom sends, so it would be fair. But nope, we're getting entirely different bloom sends. Like, okay, here's my ZOMG way later than his. Granted, that's not much a problem, but you will see that becomes a problem much, much later. As... It will actually be pretty unfair. So yeah, I sunk that ZOMG. And here comes another ZOMG for I Suck at Battles. I don't think I get a second ZOMG this round. But he has to deal with this. And all of his Moab Assassin abilities have not come back. That sucks, you know? He has to try to deal with that somehow. But he doesn't know how because all these Moab Assassin abilities aren't back. And he has a full strength ZOMG. Now it's half strength. And it's across the map. Now here's another ZOMG. Round 46. And he has two ZOMGs on the screen. Managed. He managed to get rid of one, and now it's round 47. So, A, that's a record. B, I suck at battle seems to really be struggling here, because he he's getting way more ZOMGs than me. Look, here comes another one. My side. It's super easy. But for his side, he's just getting screwed over, and we don't know why at all. That really screws with the record. I'm having it super easy. All I have to do is a couple more apps and mortar stall, and he just keeps getting more and more ZOMGs. He's got that one coming. Okay, I finally have one coming on my side, but I have abilities... And here comes another one on his side. He's running out of Moab Assassin abilities. He's trying to spam the bomb and go crazy, or mortar and go crazy with that. That is just not helping much at all. Here's a third one on his side. It's going insane. And that one is sadly going to run through and end him, I think. Yep, there we go. And that's victory for my screen. That's what it looked like. We got one round higher than the record. Oh my gosh, that was that was just an insane run, and a ton of fun to film, actually. We, we just had a bunch of fun. We were dicking around, like, the whole time, and I hope you all enjoyed it. That was a fun little taste of strategy, fun, insane craziness, and we got to witness that glitch. Yeah, okay, that, that was the weirdest part. I still don't know why he got different balloon sends than me. We'll never figure that out. But I hope you enjoyed the split screen. It took me a while to edit it because I have crappy recording software right now. It's, uh, <laughs> I got iMovie because I'm too cheap to buy something else. But I'll just roll with it for now. So thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. As a record, I challenge anyone to beat it. Go ahead. If you do, I will give you props and stuff. It's just as of the time of uploading, this is the current highest round of the map. Also, mobile battles does not count. It has to be on the computer because they are entirely different games. Is much easier to get to high round in mobile battles, by far. And of course, I suck at battles. Channel is in the description. He tries to shout himself out a ton. I think if you read the chat, you know he tries shouting himself out in there, but I didn't. I didn't notice it as I was yammering. That's just because I talk fast. Anyways, that's the end of the video. Thanks all you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see high round stuff because that stuff's you know pretty fun to do. And of course, bloopers coming soon. Just just watch the bloopers when they come out. It's 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 fantastic. You'll see. All right. Thanks all for watching and have a great day.